Hello everybody, Elias5891 here with another Catane module tutorial. This time, we're going to look at resistors. Uh, resistors does have some edge work requirements, so we will... Huh, uh, we will go ahead and start with the edge work. I've got a lot on here, we're not going to do all of them. Uh, we have uh, three batteries and two holders. Uh, unlit MSA, lit car, and just those four ports, RJ, PS2, RCA, DVI. And the serial number is, aww, that's going to be an interesting one actually. F03UN5 Foxtrot 03 Uniform November 5. So, resistors, how does this work? Well, you're going to connect some portion of the top to some portion of the bottom through resistors, maybe like this, or like this. Actually, probably not like that, but. Or like this. Where you go through both of them. There's a bunch of different ways you can connect them. Uh, to find out how we're going to do it, we got to do some math, though. Some light math. Uh, and we're kind of, we're going to jump through the steps. We're not going to do them all in perfect order here. Um, take the, to find, we're going to start by finding the target resistance. That's the number you're looking for in my head. You're going to take the first two digits of the bomb serial number. In this case, it's 03. And you're going to multiply that for each battery present, multiply by 10, up to a max of 6. So you're going to multiply that by 10 three times. Or 10 once, 10 twice, 10 three times. Which is actually going to give you 3,000. 3,000 ohms is our target. Now, these resistors have different amounts of uh, capacity in them. They can hold or block different amounts. This chart on page 2 actually gives you what numbers they relate to. The first, second band is the same multiplier. Um, so, as the diffuser, I would actually read off the colors on these strips before you have a chance to do your target. So for this one, uh, the top resistor is brown orange, orange, and you actually don't need the part after the gap, so this is just brown, orange, orange. This part doesn't matter. And sometimes, even if they're flipped around, you're always going to start, you're only going to read the part that has three, and you're always going to start from the outside in. So this would be brown, orange, orange. This is going to be orange, white, red. Uh, likewise, this would be brown, purple, red, brown, orange, red, orange, black, brown, orange, black, red, uh, brown, purple, red, orange, black, red, and so on and so forth. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to this one we're working on. So we have brown, orange, orange, and orange, white, red. Well, let's look up these numbers. Brown is 1, orange is 3, and for the third one, orange means multiply by a thousand. The second one, on the other hand, is orange, which is a three, white, which is a nine, red, which is a two, so 3,900. Now, if we compare these to our target, are they the same? Are they different? If so, how are they different? And when we do these, there's three possibilities. One possibility is we have an exact match. One of them is, in this case, 3,000 on the dot. We don't have that this time. Second option, they add up together to make 3,000. Not the case this time either. Third option is the target, the combined resistance, the target, is less than either resistor individually. 
That's the case here. Our target, 3,000, is less than both of these individual ones. It's actually what it says right here. And it tells us how these are going to connect. Uh, we're going to connect the input, and we'll get to figuring out the input here in just a second, to the top, input to the bottom, top to the output, bottom to the output. So if it's A and C, it's going to be like... It's going to look something like that. That's called the resistors being in parallel, because it's going through both of them kind of their own little path. At, in parallel, they're going. Uh, but let's figure out which ones we need. For that, we'll come back up here to this first rule. Uh, take the first number of the serial bomb serial number. Primary input is A if it's even, B if it's odd. Uh, first number was O, that's even. So A is our input, our primary input, I should say. Uh, last digit is the serial number. C if even, D if odd. Last digit's 5, that's odd. So D is my primary output. So, since I found out because my strips, my resistors are less than my target, I'm going to connect A to D through parallel, like that. So A to the top, top to D, A to the bottom, bottom to D. I've got that. Am I done? Not necessarily. Now we're kind of looking at the rules. We got the numbers, we got the primary input output, we got the target resistance. We've connected the primary input to the primary output, like so. If a lit FRK indicator is present, also connect the primary input to the other output with the target resistance. Uh, for example, this could be just as simple as connecting C to D. If there's a lit FRK indicator, just connect C to D. That way there's the same level of resistance going through both. Uh, in this case, we did not have a lit FRK. So we look at rule 6. If step 5 did not apply, which it did not, and there is at least one D cell battery, connect the secondary input to the secondary output with no resistance. That means just connect them directly. Did we have one D cell battery? Well, if I'm looking at the bottom, I can say yes. But uh, to look at, to tell if that's the case normally, uh, look at the number of bat holders you have, two in this case, double it to four. Is that how many batteries I have? If so, then they're all double A sets. If it's not, then at least one of them has to be a D cell. So unless the number of batteries is exactly double the number of holders, you have a D cell. We do have a D cell, so we're going to connect the secondary input, the one we didn't use, to the secondary output with no resistance, so just a straight line to them. So we have A to D, and this is how I would read this answer out. I have A to D in parallel and B to C directly. That's how I would read it. Uh, different people have different ways that they might give out that answer. But that's that's the general idea behind it. Uh, now I'm actually going to stick with this bomb for just another minute or two so we can demonstrate the other kinds. Uh, but this part... The A to D being the answer is based on edge work. The B to C is based on edge work. So that part's going to be true on any of these resistors I do on this bomb. Uh, but I want to see if I can find one that has a different kind. So, uh, let's see here. Orange, black, black would be nice. Not orange, black, black, sorry. Orange, black, red. This one. Uh, we have brown, purple, red, orange, black, red. As you heard me talking to myself, you may know where this is going. Uh, brown, purple, red is... Uh, brown is one. Purple is, or violet, is seven. 
red is a multiplier of 100. So we add two zeros. Orange, black, red. Orange is three. Black is zero. And multiplier for red is 100. Notice my target's 3,000. This time I've got one that's exactly 3,000. So for this one, I want to connect just through that resistor. So I'm going to say A to D through the bottom resistor, B to C directly, and that's the second kind of answer you might get. Uh, let's hop over here for the last one. Uh, brown, red, red, brown, gray, red. Uh, let's see. Brown, one, red, two, red, double zero. Brown, one, gray, eight, multiplier of a hundred. I have twelve hundred and eighteen hundred, which add up to give me three thousand. So this time my combined resistance is the sum. In that case, we're going to go in serial. And going in serial just means going through each of them in turn. So that's going to look like this. Go to the top one. Top one goes to the bottom one. And then it goes to the output. And B to C direct, as always. So notice this is serial. Lots of wires going through both of them. Kind of their own separate paths. That was parallel. This is serial where you're going through both of them, but you're just going through both of them in a single path. You can actually make this path a little more interesting than this. Um, boop. This one, uh, this is uh, 160 and 140, so this one's also going to be a uh, serial. So I might do it this way instead. I don't have to connect the first part. Actually, let's go this way with it. Notice I'm still just taking a path through each resistor once, so this is fine. It doesn't care if I put it at the front or the back or wherever I put it. It just wants to make sure that I'm going through the correct, in this case, the correct two bat or two resistors in serial somehow in a single path. Uh, but that's resistors. Um, Let like me say if say if say we had had the lit FRK and we wanted to do things. Uh, what is this? 302. This one would be through the top. Uh, so let's say I had a lit FRK. Instead of uh, for this one to get the lit FRK, you could either do this and then that. That way you've got the same flow going to both C or D. Or you could do this number. That way you've got the same current flowing through, or the same resistance going through both C and D. Didn't mean to actually check that. And if you don't have a D battery and you don't have a lit FRK, then you're just done with this. Uh, but this time, yeah, gotta get, gotta get that secondary direct, which is what comes up more often than not. Uh, but anyway, that's enough on this one. That's resistors. Uh, as always, comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, but that's it for me. So until next time. Uh, it's been Elias. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a great day and hold up your resistance. Bye.